fighting has intensified in the city of Taiz in central Yemen. Pro government forces have been fighting Houthi rebels who are aligned with Iran since 2015. A Saudi led coalition backs the government, but fighters in Taiz say they're exhausted and not getting the help they need. They say military aid is being provided on the basis of their alliance with members of the coalition. Some say the brigades loyal to the UAE get the most supplies. Had Taiz been receiving the required support, the city would have been liberated by now. Apart from whatever military gear we have, the army and resistance are barely surviving. We are abandoned by the coalition and we do not know the reasons. Taiz has not been liberated till now due to the lack of enthusiasm on the part of the coalition. Taiz residents are capable to liberate the city in no time, only if they receive military and financial support. Aid organizations, including the Red Crescent, say their staff are stranded. Oxfam says it has closed its office in Taiz. But Taiz isn't the only place where conflicting interests within the Saudi-led coalition have emerged. This is Aden, where the airport remains closed for a second day. Prime Minister Ahmed bin Dagher has visited his office after his troops took back control of government buildings from southern secessionists. Dagher accused the separatists of mounting a coup. Reinforcements from Abiyan were able to secure some areas, but sporadic fighting continues. There is no difference between the Houthis and anyone else who rebels against the legitimate government, no matter who they are. If he's not with the legitimate government, then he's rebelling against it and considered an enemy to the entire country. But it's not as simple, because the fighting sides are supported by members of the same coalition. Saudi Arabia backs government forces and the secessionists are allies of the United Arab Emirates. Many in Aden have traditionally supported the idea of a separate state, similar to the structure before Yemen's unification in 1990. We want a civilian government, a government of law, a government made according to the principles of the Southern Transition Council. The internationally recognized government called in Saudi Arabia and United Arab Emirates to fight the Houthis. But since 2015, the Gulf region's poorest country has suffered from the world's largest cholera outbreak and almost half of the country lives in famine-like conditions. And there seems to be no end to the fighting. Osama bin Javed. The seat of power for Yemen's government is no longer under its control. This is the southern port city of Aden where secessionists say they are now in charge. Fighters from the Southern Transitional Council have seized areas around the presidential palace and military bases. The Prime Minister's call to cease fire has not worked. The government of President Abdurrahman Mansur Hadi is based out of Saudi Arabia, and the man he appointed as governor of Aden now heads the separatist movement. Secessionists had given Hadi a week-long ultimatum to change his government, and when the deadline expired on Sunday, thousands of their supporters took to the streets of Aden. We demand this corrupt gang in the liberated southern areas be expelled. Our youth have sacrificed for this goal. These sacrifices cannot go down the drain and see this corrupt gang in power. To them, we say enough is enough. Many people in the south have accused the government in the north of discrimination since Yemen was united in 1990. The situation has worsened since the war against the Houthis began three years ago. We aspire to form a state. The coalition must consider our cause. If not, they will be the losers as we will restore our country and our state. We are here today holding our ground. We will remain in the streets. We will topple the failed government. We will topple bin Dakhar and his government as they've humiliated our people, the people of the South. The Saudi-led coalition was supposed to fight the Iran-backed Houthi rebels who control much of the north, including the capital, Sana'a. But the United Arab Emirates, which is part of that coalition, has been supporting the separatists in the south. While UAE's partner, Saudi Arabia, backs the internationally recognized government, which no longer has any control in the north or the south. But despite that, the Saudis insist the coalition hasn't splintered. The position of the UAE remains deeply consistent with other members of the coalition concerning the Yemen crisis. The foreign minister's meeting last week was good evidence that members of the coalition are united and will take the liberation of Yemen as their ultimate goal. But instead of liberating and uniting Yemen, the war seems to have pushed the country to the brink of breaking up. Osama bin Javed, Al Jazeera.